Know ye not that ye are kings? Male and female, Christ has made us all kings. God bless you for joining us today. My name is Dr. Kofi Thompson, and I welcome you to the program. Um, I've been teaching from my book, Entering into Praise and Worship. Uh, I've been sharing a lot of insights and revelation about praise and worship. You can get this book and read along with me uh, from www.ktmi.org. You hit the e-store button and you can order this book. You can also get it from Amazon.com. I have finished chapter 1 and today I am moving to chapter 2. Okay, chapter 1 we spoke a lot about praise, we spoke a lot about prayer and praise and we spoke about the scepter. You have, you have to know that all of this uh, praise that we talked about has something in common, which is music. Music. Praise can be vocal, praise can be um, in a musical form. Okay? So today we are going to look critically at music. Music. So chapter 2. Chapter 2. Here we go. The spirit called music. Many have asked the question, why music seems to have such an impartation on the life of every human? I had the same question and wondered for a long time about the power of this thing called music. But as I matured in the things of the Spirit, and God began to deal with me on writing a book about worship, I asked God what part music plays in worship. This is what the Holy Spirit revealed to me. Music is a spirit created by God to serve as a vital component within our human spirit. It frees up the human spirit by releasing spiritual lubricants that lubricates all the parts within it. Just as our human body parts need special lubricants to help lubricate all the internal organs to prevent them from entangling, music releases all the necessary spiritual oils to lubricate all the internal organs within our spirits, preventing them from entanglement. Although spirits don't have physical body parts, they do have spiritual body. Which means that their body has parts as well. The Holy Spirit through the Apostle Paul revealed it to us in his first letter to the Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 40 to 44. There are also celestial bodies as terrestrial bodies. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. The body is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised 
a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. The Bible also talks about many parts in the body of a spirit. John chapter 4, verse 24, revealed to us that our God himself is a spirit. And God who is a spirit have eyes. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 12. 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. Okay? God who is a spirit have hands and arms. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 10. And Psalm 104, verse 28. We also see that God who is a spirit have a heart. We see that in 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 14. And also Isaiah chapter 40, verse 11. So these are only a few of the body parts of a spirit. A spirit has all the body parts, although they have a spiritual body, which means that the natural eyes are not permitted to see them, but only through our spiritual eyes. So music was created for this purpose, to lubricate the system of our spirit man, to ensure that the spirit man has a free flow of the organs. Severe pain can prevent your internal organs from functioning and forces your system to shut down. Likewise, when we over rejoice, it can lead to the same result. God, knowing this, created music to bring a perfect balance in our lives at any given situation. For the reason when for this reason when mankind is joyous they sing. When sad they sing. When they are alone they sing and dance. The Bible reveals to us that God himself loves to sing. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. and will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Jesus also loved to sing, as we are told by the writer of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter two, verse 12, he says, I will declare your name to my brothers and sisters. In the assembly, I will sing your praises. In Mark chapter 14, verse 26, And when they had sung a hymn, they, Jesus and his disciples, went out into the Mount of Olives. In fact, all of God's creation cannot operate without music. This spirit of music was inserted into creation by default. Let us look at these scriptures. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 7 says, All the lands are at rest and at peace. They break into singing. 
We are also told that the trees of the field, the mountains and hills also sing all the time. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 12 says, The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Also in scripture we are told that the birds of the air do sing. Psalm 104, verse 12. By them the birds of the heavens have their home. They sing among the branches. The Bible says that before God created everything, this spirit of music was already with him and working mightily through him. We don't know when he created this spirit, but a passage in the book of Job gives us the understanding that music played a very important role in the creation of the world. This spirit was very active when, while God laid the cornerstone of the earth, of the world. In Job chapter 38, Verse 1 to 7. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Now prepare yourself like a man. I will question you and you shall answer me, says the Lord. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? To what were its foundations fastened? Or who laid its cornerstone when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy? This scripture reveals a powerful truth about a spirit that is little known to the world and yet very busy in the lives of all God's creation. The presence of this spirit played a very important role in the creation of the world. God would not have employed its services if it was of less importance to him. The heavenly choir was busy singing. This means the spirit called music was manifesting itself powerfully. So, can we identify music? Can we identify this spirit? Is it possible to physically identify this spirit of music walking around? Spirits do not have natural bodies and they are invisible to the carnal eyes. Our bodies and other objects serve as their houses so that we can identify, we can identify them naturally. This house called the human body was built by God. When it was completed, when it was completely done, and ready to be inhabited, God breathed 
the spirit man into the house called the human body to be inhabited on earth for a short period of time. If that house is well maintained and well managed, it might stand a little bit longer before collapsing. The truth of the matter is that God made this house to be on earth for a number of years and then it has to be bulldozed down to the grave to enable the spirit to come back home to God. Our earth now has billions of spirits living in these houses called the human body and other objects. Our world is full of them, good and evil spirits. They influence our thinking process. They, they influence our life and they determine how our lives are lived. Whether we like it or not, our life is influenced by these invisible spirits. They can only be seen naturally when they influence a physical body and begin to manifest through them. The same is with the spirit called music. It can, it can physically it can be physically identified only when it influences flesh and blood and begins to manifest itself through the flesh. Singing is only one of the many manifestations of this spirit called music. It manifests in many ways. In jazz music, for instance, most of them are instrumental music. This means that the tune is without singing. Yet, it is the same spirit manifesting itself through the person playing the instrument. When you witness some of these jazz musicians on stage, they play their instrument with such passion. They are sold out to what they do. If you study them closely, you will find out that they are in a whole different world when they are on stage. This is because the spirit of music takes over their whole being. The same is with any other musician. In whatever genre they specialize in, you can easily discern when they are translated and when they are not. I must point out to you that just as in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2, we who speak in an unknown tongue speak mysteries to God, so does music without singing or words speak very loudly in the... Okay, let me take that again. So does music without singing. Our words... Words speak, speaking very loudly in the realm of the spirit. This can be very good or it can be very dangerous. In other words, let me break it down here. Just as we who speak in tongues, who pray in tongues, Although the natural man does not understand it, 
But in the realm of the spirit, we are speaking mysteries and very loudly to God. The same is with music without vocals, without words. It also speaks loudly in the realm of the spirit. You get it? That's what I try to um, bring out in this particular um, place. So, any true prophet knows that God loves and moves supernaturally through pure music coming from the heart of God's people. Therefore, it is very important to always engage God intensely through this spirit called music. So let's look at another way, another dimension of it. What is its food? What is its food? Because music is a spirit, it needs to be fed at all times in order to be able to serve you better in time of need. We find ourselves either unconsciously or consciously whistling or harming a tune. We sometimes mumble the words in a song or sing out loud. We find a sense of satisfaction. After these occurrences, because there was a need which could only be satisfied by the Spirit. As a born as a born again Christian, you cannot leave the spirit malnourished in you. You have to constantly give it the right kind of food to grow and mature in you. The way to feed it is found in the scripture. The Holy Spirit through the Apostle Paul revealed it to us in Colossians chapter 3 verse 15 and 16. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to which also you were called in one body. And be thankful let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. As the above scripture says, the only food that can nourish this, this spirit within the Christian is the word of God. The word of God is rich. It has all the nutrients that are needed to make the spirit as healthy as it can ever be. John chapter 1 verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The word of God can never become flesh in you unless you invite him in. If you ingest the word of God within you, then it will transcend the flesh, which means that you become the word. The glory will be manifested only because the word, which is a spirit, now has been given the use of a natural body and has transcended flesh. As we read 
in Colossians chapter 3, verse 15 and 16, only when the word dwells in you richly are you able to teach and admonish one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. We cannot feed music with any other food except the word of God. We need that grace in our hearts in order to minister to ourselves the words of grace through music. God bless you and keep you. Lord, protect you and bless the work of your hands. Lord, protect your home. Lord, protect your marriage and your children. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. If you have been enjoying my ministry and the messages that I have been posting, why don't you visit my website at ktmi.org to listen to more messages. Click on the KTMI TV and you will see a lot of messages on there. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want you to go to youtube.com slash Kofi Thompson 1. Hit the subscription button over there and subscribe and you will be the first to be notified anytime I upload a new video. You can also visit my page on Facebook. You search for Kofi Thompson Ministries International on Facebook. Hit the like button so that we will stay connected as the Lord grants us the strength and the grace to continue in this journey. God bless you and I will see you again on my next video. Until then, keep your crown pure at all times.